So today I wanted to show you how to bring back ticker notifications in Lollipop or Marshmallow. It will work on either one. To start, we need to go into the Google Play Store and install an application called Tickler. Once it's installed, it'll create an app icon, of course. Go ahead and launch it. And we're going to see that there's three different settings that need to be set properly. Now, if you have Lollipop, you'll only see this notification access one. Since Google has added more permissions in Marshmallow, you have two others. So notification access, of course, Tickler needs access to your notifications in order to display them. It also needs to draw over other apps because what happens is a little drop down menu will cover the status bar and that's where the ticker notif notification is displayed. So once we tap on that, and we enable it. This is just the standard alert message. We can go back. And you can see what happened at the top. There's that little bar that goes over the status bar. And that's how this works. Now in Lollipop, there's just a single setting within Tickler that will disable heads up notifications. Marshmallow can't do this and instead in Marshmallow you have to go and disable this feature for each app you want ticker notifications displayed in. So say we wanted ticker notifications displayed in Gmail we'd have to go into our Gmail section here and then this allow peaking. We need to disable this and we need it disabled for every app you want ticker notifications for. So if you also wanted it for Messenger, for um, Facebook or Google Plus, you have to go through, find it, go into it, and then disable that peaking feature. If you ever need to get back to this page, it's just in these settings. It's in the apps section, and here it is. With that done, we can go back into Tickler. And here we have a list of all of our apps, all of our system apps, and all of our apps entirely. This page will let you give specific settings. So you can change the color for a specific app. You can make it do an automatic color and you can even make the ticker notification repeat itself. But as you can see all of these are grayed out. These are only available in the paid version. We do have some settings in here, so instead of being able to set individual colors, you can set them for the whole app. And again, we still have some features that are grayed out that are only available in the paid version. And the paid version is only, I think it was 350 or 360, not a big deal if you like this kind of application and need um, ticker notifications more than the heads up peaking style of notification. We have this little fab at the bottom right. This will give us a demo of how it will look. You can see at the top.
and that's how it will look for each application you have it set. Let's say they have a premium. Let's see, it's 340. Not bad at all. And if you didn't want ticker notifications for specific apps, you can uncheck them here too.